Hi guys, welcome to our section how to find the C-score and the area under the standard normal distribution. Today we're going to do a problem very fast and easy. Let's do it. We're going to learn how to do it by hand and also with the TI-84. Let's do it. So let's say that we have the following problem. The average teenager takes about 26 messages a day with a standard deviation of 12. We survey 35 teens. What percent of the population of teenagers will text more than 28 messages? All right, so this is very interesting because we're going to figure it out. What is the percent of the teenagers that text more than 28 texts? Now, it's really important that we know how to do this because this is a typical problem that you're going to have in S statistics. The first thing you have to do is to do your bell. Remember, the mean is always, and I repeat, always in the middle. And that's going to be, in this case, 26. Now, they told me that they want the probability that x is greater than 28. So immediately, you're going to go ahead and figure out this area right here, which is equals to 28. Now, the C-score, the formula, is going to be equals to x bar minus mu, times the standard deviation over the standard deviation times the square root of n. Many books put this guy on the bottom, but I think it's easier and you will get the same answer if just if you just do it like this. Now let's go ahead and do this in the calculator so you can figure it out your p value. Let's do it. Okay, so we're here in the calculator and we're gonna go ahead and figure it out the C score and the area. The first step is to go to stats. Now, you're going to move to test and look at the um, key that I'm using. So I just go to the right and just do C test, click enter. And you have two choices. You can either do stats or if you move to the left and press enter, that's going to be data. Data will be used if you have a list. We're going to be doing a problem later on using a list. But today, everything is given. So you just go to a stat. Beautiful. We have mu, standard deviation, x bar, n, and then whatever choices you need. So let's do. Mu, we know that it was 26. Enter. Standard deviation was 12. Remember, the standard deviation of the population was given. That's what I use the C test. The x bar is going to be 28. Because remember, that is what we're looking for. The um, probability is going to be more than 28 messages n is going to be equals to 35, and I'm almost done. Now here you have three choices. This is when mu is not equals to the claim. We're going to talk about that later. This is less than. Since our problem was greater than, immediately just click enter, and look, you have two choices. Either you can calculate it or you can draw it. Let's calculate it right now, and let's see what we get. Bingo. We get the C-score. We get the p-value. And that's it. Let's go ahead and now draw it. I can go again to C test. The same thing is going to be there, save. And look, I can click on draw. And how perfect is that? Here is showing us that the p value or the probability is 0 0.1621. Here is showing me the c value. So this is actually the best thing that we can do here because that way you can see the graph and understand. That means that 16.21% of the teenagers are going to text more than 28 messages. And that's it. Also, we can go ahead and figure it out another type of problem. Let's say that they ask me the probability that uh, the teenagers, you know, do less than, let's go ahead and put here 16 text messages a day. I just switch the X. Then I just put less than, let's actually go ahead and put less than and let's draw it. Again, you can calculate or draw it and then click enter and that's it. You can see here that the C value is very, very low, negative 4.93. So that means that the P value is extremely, extremely low. That means that the probability that a teenager will text less than 60 messages a day is very unlikely. And that's it. Finally, don't forget to watch our other videos. 
and also thanks so much for learning